it. We have the fourth. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We have the fourth and final installment in my game day series. I have had so much fun with this and I'm glad that y'all seem to be enjoying it along with me. Today we are going to be doing some DIY team decor to celebrate football season. So let's just jump right Oh my gosh, so exciting. <laughs> so let's just jump right in and get crafting. We're gonna start off with some really quick and easy cup decorations. All you need are some clear solo cups and some washi tape. I love working with this stuff because it's really easy to pick up and move, so essentially you can't mess up. As you can see, I've measured out strips and I'm creating vertical stripes that go down one side and up the other. Once you have your tape where you want it, be sure to press it firmly to the cup so that it doesn't lift or peel off. Now I'm just going to repeat the process but with the other tape. If you're working on a mason jar or another cup that has the same width from top to bottom, you can work in horizontal patterns as well. But in this type of a solo cup, you can't get the tape to lay flat, which is why I stuck to vertical designs. This is such a quick and easy craft and there's tons of room for creativity. As you saw, I used some stickers to decorate the other cups, but I'm going to assume y'all know how to use a sticker. Now it's time to move on to our favors. You're going to want to use a flat candy bar, so in this case just a classic Hershey's bar, two different types of paper, a tag which you can either buy or cut out yourself, a piece of ribbon, and then some stickers that fit your theme. I've already cut the paper to size, but if you're using a Hershey's bar, this base paper is 6 inches wide. Then I'm just going to wrap this around the candy bar to create a sleeve. Now if you're a really intense crafter like my mom, you'll have this really fancy tape machine, but otherwise some double-sided tape will work and that will just help secure the paper in place. As you're working, be sure that your edges are going to line up so that your wrapper doesn't end up being crooked. And now it's time to repeat the process. I've cut this paper down as well and this is five and a quarter inches so that a quarter inch of our base layer will be poking out from either side. I am going to be taping this down so that the two layers are secured together. If you're using a patterned paper like I am, make sure you're working with it face side down so that when you're done, the pattern will be showing. Again, just be sure to line up those edges so that it doesn't end up being crooked. Now that we've created our sleeve, it's time to turn it over and decorate. So I'm going to start off by tying a ribbon around one end of the candy bar. You're going to need to have a hole punched in your tag and then you're going to feed one side of the ribbon through the tag and work that down so that it ends up being at the base of your bow. Now it's time to just tie a basic bow. If you're using a patterned ribbon like I am, be sure you manipulate the ribbon so that the pattern ends up being on the outside and your bow looks consistent. Cut both ends at an angle to create tails that will look a lot nicer than raw edges. To dress up the tag, I am going to place little glittery football stickers on each one. If you're needing place cards for your party, this would be a really excellent spot to put your guest's name and place it at their seat. To finish off the favors, I'm using one of these other football stickers just to decorate the other end of the candy bar. This is such a great way to dress up an inexpensive favor for your party. To create variety, simply switch up your materials as you can see I've done here. For the finale, we're going to create pinwheels for a beautiful pinwheel bouquet. You either need double-sided paper or two pieces of paper glued together, a paper straw, and a brad to hold everything together. You want to start out with a square sheet of paper. This one is a 6x6, but it just really depends on how big you want your pinwheel to be. And again, I've busted out some of mom's really fancy craft equipment, but scissors will work just fine. You want to create cuts that go up from the corners in towards the center, leaving about a quarter inch of uncut space in the middle. Continue to do this until all four sides have been cut. Essentially, you're creating four equal triangles that are connected by just a small bit of paper in the center. Next, you're going to create a hole in the middle of your paper. I'm using this sharp crafting tool, but again, anything sharp enough to get the job done will be just fine. Be sure to make the hole big enough for the brad to easily fit through. Now I'm going to punch a hole in the left side of each triangle. It doesn't really matter which side you decide to punch, it's just going to affect the direction of your pinwheel. However, once you pick a side, stick to it, and don't flip your paper over halfway through punching or you may end up punching the wrong side of the triangle. 
You'll also need to punch a hole in your straw as well, so I've just used my fingers to pinch one end to make it easier. Now we're going to assemble our pinwheels. You're going to insert the brad through one of the holes in the triangles. Then you're going to layer each successive triangle until each one is tucked under and secured in the brad. Once you've tucked in all four corners, place the brad through the center hole and flip it over. Place the straw on the brad and then open the ends to secure everything in place. Once you get on a roll, these are really easy to make and they actually go by pretty quickly. I made eight of them, making sure to alter which side of the paper was facing out so that I had a really nice bouquet. Combine these crafts with some other themed decor and you're ready to party. I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. If you decide to try out any of these crafts yourself for a party or for a football game, be sure to tag me in a picture because I would love to see what y'all come up with. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment with any other video requests or series requests that you would like to see in the future. And I will see you guys again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Hey friends and welcome to my mama's kitchen. Today I am going to be continuing on with my game day series for y'all and I'm going to be showing you 